everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today, we are going to rank my Pat McGrath six pan palettes. Let me start out by saying I do not regret any of these purchases at all. I have, I believe all of them, except for the two Star Wars palettes, which I eventually technically got in the bigger palette that she had released for Christmas of 2020, I believe. So I do have them, but no, it's not in the form of the six pan in the Star Wars palette because that was before I was, I was just starting to get into makeup at that time. Now, if there are other six pan palettes that I don't have, I do apologize. I do believe I have most, if not all other than those two. So let's go ahead and get started. And also, none of these are bad, okay? Like, the, I don't not like them due to the formula. It's just preference, that's it. In any day of the week, my preferences could change. So, with that said, huh, my makeup is really starting to fall apart. Um, <laughs> uh, the first palette at, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, eleven right here is the unknown palette the, the one with no name <laughs> uh it was just i think it came with like a mascara and an eyeliner i believe could be wrong um i purchased it um it's nice you know it, if you're if you were looking for an everyday palette it just didn't woo me you know what i mean like it didn't and I thought it would, to be honest. I thought it really would. It is a great little companion palette, though, if you're traveling or something. Or not a companion palette. It's just a nice palette to travel with. I'm sorry. I'm losing it, y'all. At number 10, it would be the Pat McGrath Mothership Subversive Metal Morphosis Shadow Palette. And it looks like this. Let me take it out. Well, I guess I don't have to take that out. It looks like that and this one's just it, it's just all a metallic shade you know I don't think the look came out bad that I did but it's just not it, it's a companion this is a companion palette to be honest so if you know if that's what you were looking for this could be it but it's just not one of you know my top favorites that's all at number nine would be the Mothership Subliminal Dark Star. And you got to give it to her for the packaging. Oh, is the packaging beautiful? This here. This one. I have the little card it slid out. But this one, I believe, just took it really, really dark for me. And even though I don't, I think the gray wasn't too bad. I, it, it was it was dark this palette's a dark palette so I don't necessarily tend to go dark in my eye looks you know what I mean at least not like this um but you know if it's your type of uh style you would have loved it and if you can get it if you can still get these I highly recommend all of them all right next is the mothership sublime bronze temptation I do think that, let me take out the, oh, it's going to mess with me, isn't it? Yeah. I do think this is a pretty palette. However, when you look at it here in just a second, after I get the stamp paper out of it, okay, it's, I mean, it's a pretty palette. It is. It is. The green kind of throws me off a little bit, but then I kind of understand it at the same time. But honestly, I, I have come to know that I'm not into darks and I'm not into um, honestly, I'm not into bronzes. I don't think. I don't think they look good on me is the thing. I really don't. It could just be my opinion on that. I mean, I could look fine in them, but, and we are our worst critics. I just don't feel like I look good in bronzes, you know? I don't know. 
So that was what? 11, 10, 9. That was 8. So we're at 7. All right. This one here would be Mothership Lovey and Rose, which looks like this. I like this palette. Let me start by that, okay? I like it as far as if I want a colorful palette. Like, I do like this palette for that. I really do. It it gives me what I need to create a very bright, colorful look. If I'm going more like a pinky, purple kind of look. You know what I mean? But, again, all of these palettes are really kind of made to be companion palettes. It just is what it is. And that's fine. I just also, like a companion palette, I just would like for it to also stand alone. You know what I mean? Six. I keep having to count down. So six is the Mothership Sublime, or I'm sorry, the Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze. Now, I do like this. And really, out of all of the these kind of palettes here with this kind of decoration, this is my favorite one, okay? And really, at any given time, it's a cool tone palette. And a new, like, cool neutral tone palette. I would almost have this as my number one. But y'all know I love my pinks. I mean, it just is what it is, you know. But I do generally love this palette. Period. Alright, now we're what? At our top five? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So top five. Five would be the new palette. The mini eyeshadow palette in Midnight Voyage. I mean... It's adorable. It's cute. I'll give that to anybody, okay? And these are the shades. And I can create a complete look. Absolutely. 100%. And I love it for that. But at the same time, because I do own all Pamagrass shadows pretty much, there's only one new shade in here. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing because, A, the people that haven't got to try it get to try it at a very decent price. B, I can travel with this and not feel like, oh, if it breaks, I'm going to, you know, lose my mind. Where if my mothership broke, I'm going to lose my mind. I know this. So, I do give it some credit for that. And I did like the look I came up with. And I think you could come up with a couple different looks out of this. Um, but overall, it's just not like my favorite favorite, you know, but it is in my top five and you can still get this cause it just released. So with that said, it's a thought, but it is a very, very beautiful palette at number four, Bridgerton palette, diamond of first water. So this is the very first one. And I did go back and forth with this, where to put this, whether this one, I like this one better or the second one better. Ultimately, I chose to go with the second one, right? Bell of the Ball, yeah, because this is First Frost. So I decided to put this one here at number four because I just, I feel like I'm only going to get one tone in this palette, you know what I mean? And honestly, the special shade in this, I do like it, but I like the one in the other one better. So, at number four, or three, I mean, it would be the first Bridgerton one. And let me show you this shade, okay, that I'm talking about, that I just love. This one right here. I love this shade. I would buy this shade by itself. I would buy this for this shade. It's called Forever Charmed. Am I right? Is that right? Let me see. No. Diamond's Desire. Yeah, that's Diamond's Desire. Okay. So, I mean, this shade is just, I mean... Oh, God. It's so beautiful. I just love this shade. It, that's all I needed to say. Like, that shade sold me on this palette. I don't know what else to say, you know? And the next palette would be number two. Mm, oh, Lord. How am I supposed to say that? All right. Mothership. D 
Oh, Rose Decadence. I was sitting here trying to read this. It was like, palette de hombres a property. I was like, what? No way. Okay, on the back. Rose Decadence. Rose de Decadence. Decadence. Oh, Lord, I can't talk. I'm, I'm done for today. This one. Again, this and my number one could go interchangeably, to be honest. The only reason number one won is because it, I feel like it has a better inner corner. But I love this palette. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I do believe this one you can still get on her website. I, I do think you can. So if this was something that you liked when I created a look out of it, um, I highly suggest you checking this out. Because... Once these are gone, she doesn't restock them. At least I haven't seen any of these restocked on her website. At number one, Golden Opulence. I just, I don't know what to say. I think, and you would think the pinkier one would get me, but it did not. It's this one. I don't know why. I think because it's neutral. It gives me everything I want. I can do a very simple look, or I can do you know, a very bam in your face look, you know what I mean? And like I said, it's got that lighter inner corner shade. So it just, it gives me what I need. It just gives it all to me. Now, don't get me wrong. All these palettes are beautiful, beautiful. But if I had to rank, I believe this is how I would rank them. Now, as far as the two, I didn't have the Star Wars. I would say they would fall in the middle. They're not my favorite, but they're also like not the not my least favorite either from looking at the shadows. So that is all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and the ranking. Um, let me know down below what's your favorite one. What was your favorite out of the six pans? I'm curious to know but out of the ones I have. Or if it's a Star Wars one, you can pick it too because I kind of have it in a sense. But, do you think I did good ranking them? It's hard to rank these palettes, let me tell you. Like, you think it's easy, but it's not. What is easy is, like, your favorite out of them. Like, your number one, and then the last one. Those are easy. But when you start getting down to, the, like, top five, ooh, it gets hard. Because you're like, but is it? Or should it be here? Or should it be here? You know? Like, usually, but one and two can be a problem, too, sometimes. But I'm going to stand by this. I think I did good. Yeah, I'm going to stand by this. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I upload every day but Sunday. Next is the ranking of all the four pan palettes. Ooh. These ranking videos are getting me big time, but I'm enjoying them because A, I get to go through my collection and reuse them and become, you know, kind of one with them. Like, I am so used to her shadows now. It really, when I go to create a look and I'm not filming, it does not take me long to create a look. So I have enjoyed that part of this. And... I've enjoyed going through the process of, I can understand why she created what she created. I can, I can see it and I like that. So, but that's all I got for you. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.